So this is the last video of the day. Before we get out of here, man, uh, Taraji B. Henson was at the BT Awards, and she had a skit, a bit to do, right? Giving out flowers to people. And she's supposed to be giving flowers to Keith Lee, the guy who you know, sits in his car, does the food reviews, and helps local businesses turn their franchise from nothing to something, right? So I just want to play a clip of this. Uh-oh. The Method Man lookalike. <laughs> Method's married, are you? Are you? <laughs> Hi. How are you? <sighs> Mr. Keith Lee, I know what you're thinking right now. So this is it's hard for me to watch it like this because it's cringe. She thinks that's Keith Lee. Keith Lee is literally the guy sitting next to her. She didn't know that. So um, she figures it out later on. She's like, oh, shit, my bad. This is you. You're Keith Lee. And Keith Lee get, gets given a rose by her, and he does his video. He, God, I thank you for music. he throws the rose on the ground. Real, real fucking dramatic. Real like, mm -hmm, all right, bro. He says, our name will be known in every room it's supposed to be, when it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, with no confusion. God is a man. It's like... Where's this ego shit coming from? Like, she made a mistake. I get how you might not want the rose because it feels disingenuous because y'all have this person presenting something to me and all the great things I have done, because he's done a lot of great things for small businesses by reviewing their foods and getting people to come in, you know, in droves to their restaurant. But maybe she don't know who Keith Lee is. But, like, I get it. If you're going to give me an award or give me, like, some type of sentiment, make sure the person who is giving me the sentiment knows who I am. And obviously Taraji B doesn't know who Keith Lee is because she thought the guy sitting where he was sitting was Keith Lee. So then Keith Lee goes on to make a video about it in his car in classic Keith Lee food review fashion. And right now, it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. That one was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me, last night was the BT Awards. And right now. So yeah, this, this is like, he, he did a whole spiel about why he did it, how he felt, you know, it was my moment. I, he gives me like that vibe of that, like, you know, that positive, that holistic, like all that type of shit. But once again, I don't feel like it was necessary to, like, I, even if he made this video, I wouldn't be mad at this video. This video is like, I'm just explaining how I felt in the moment. They fucked up my name. They didn't know who I was. It felt kind of cheap. It didn't feel like they were really giving me credit. They just wanted to use me for a moment. Like, I could get all that. It was a drop in the rose thing that felt like real sassy type vibes, in my opinion. But then Taraji, she responds to it. She says, life really is too short for this behavior. He wasn't in his seat. They give celebrity assignment seats or assigned seats. I rehearsed all damn day to go hit that mark. And that young man wasn't in his seat. So he missed his moment. His ego is hurt. He will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost here. Hashtag God bless. Right. But like I said, once again, even with Taraji's response to it, he was never really mad at her. He said production. So even her kind of being a little bit, you know, snippy, I guess you could say at him. He didn't say Taraji's dumbass. Why they have Taraji doing some shit for me? We shouldn't even know who the fuck I am. X, Y, and Z, whatever. Just be like, hey, I actually don't even fucking respond to it. Because the situation isn't nothing to be responding to. He did some sassy shit. He dropped the flower. He made his video. That's it. That's done. Good night. Good day. But it did seem like after this, right? Because then one of those guys came up to Keith Lee after. You know them guys that do that little prank shit where they're like, oh, shit, what's up, man? It's, it's Method Man. It's it. Whatever, like, who you may look like. They did to him. Say, oh, shit, DDG. And all the blogs were like, Keith Lee has to be held back over prank. Da, da. And I was like, you watch the video. It's like, he didn't really have to be held back. His security guard just started to grab him before he even did anything. All he said was, I know your content. Like, I'm good on that. Don't do that. Right? I don't want, this isn't like my vibe. So to me, it felt like now the media sees, this is why the media is so dangerous. They see like a turn a little bit on Keith Lee. Like if you look at some of the comments, like I said, what he did, a little flower jar, that was cringy. It was like a little sassy. Like, what are you doing? Like, it ain't that serious. 
when they see that, they do feel like the media uses anything intentionally to try to double down on whatever narrative and feeling people have on you. So then when they see that, on top of what Taraji said, on top of the flower dropping, on top of making the video, oh, this guy's not humble. And what you know about people, they'll build you up to be the greatest thing in the world, but they cannot wait. People cannot wait to humble you. And then they'll try to bring you back down to reality. When they feel like you think you're too big, no matter what you did, no matter how many small businesses you helped, no matter how many times you've been charitable to these, not even just helping them by saying they got good food, because it ain't really, you're not just saying they got good food. They have to make good food. You're tipping people $1,000. You're tipping people $10,000. you are doing whatever. Change your lives. But I think with social media, man, just take one thing for social media feel like, this nigga think he too, he think he better than that. Tear your ass, tear your ass down. Like I said, that's social media. That's how the game go. But uh, let me know y'all think in the comments down below. Like I said, I'm, I'm about to start. Hey, we're ramping this shit up. About to be more consistent. Not too many lives going forward. A lot more just segment topic type videos. And the lives will be specific to certain events. Obviously, absolutely sure will be live all the time. But we're about to start cranking out videos, cranking out content. So let me know y'all think about this whole situation. Comments down below. Subscribe channel. Not subscribed already. I'm out.